Macklin Celebrini's name will be called first at the 2024 NHL Draft. It's as sure as Connor Bedard going first overall to the Chicago Blackhawks last year. Celebrini is projected to be a superstar center at the NHL level, and as we've seen in previous years, many teams wishing to call his name on draft day are tanking, or more accurately, slacking for Macklin. And with the incredible season he's coming off of with Boston University of the NCAA and a stellar performance at the World Juniors, we don't blame them. But how good is Macklin Celebrini actually? Let's take a look. First, the basics. As mentioned, Celebrini is playing NCAA Division I college hockey at Boston University in the Hockey East Conference this season. His listed size, according to BU's team page, is 6 foot 190 pounds. He's a left shot forward who plays center and is 17 years old, turning 18 on June 13th. Macklin is from Vancouver, BC, and grew up cheering on his hometown team, the Canucks. Unfortunately for him, they sit near the top of the NHL standings and have a 0% chance of drafting him. Macklin's father, Rick Celebrini, was a soccer player for the Vancouver 86ers and later worked for the Canucks. He was later hired by the NBA's Golden State Warriors as their director of sports medicine and performance. Coincidentally, the Warriors' home in San Francisco is only a stone's throw away from one of the teams who have a good chance at landing Macklin, the San Jose Sharks. Macklin's older brother, Aiden Celebrini, was drafted by the Vancouver Canucks in the 6th round 171st overall last year. Aiden, a defenseman, is also currently playing for Boston University alongside his brother. In his two seasons playing at the renowned Chatuck St. Mary's Prep School, Macklin's scoring numbers read 102 games, 101 goals, 157 assists. Celebrini then signed with the Chicago Steel of the USHL for the 2022-23 campaign. That season, he led the USHL in scoring with 86 points, coming in the form of 46 goals and 40 assists, helping the Steel win the Eastern Conference title. His 46 goals were also a league high, as were his 8 game-winning goals and 21 power play goals. These numbers shattered the league record for most points by a U-17 player. Celebrini also recorded 4 hat tricks during the course of the 2022-23 campaign. With his stellar play, Celebrini became the second player to ever be named USHL player, forward, and rookie of the year, but the first doing so in the same season, his NCAA season. Committing to and joining the Boston University Terriers of the NCAA for the 2023-24 season, Macklin Celebrini became the youngest player in college hockey for the season at 17 years old. But boy oh boy, that hasn't stopped him from having an incredible season so far. He's put himself in the Hobie Baker Award conversation, tallying 31 goals and 28 assists for 59 points in 35 games so far despite coming off of shoulder surgery. Celebrini was named National Rookie of the Month in October and has been named East Player of the Month twice. He's the only player since the start of the 2005-06 season to score 22 goals in his first 25 games, his first NCAA goal and primary assist coming in his Terriers debut a 4-3 win at Bentley, before going on to notch at least two points in five of his first six NCAA games. Macklin became only the fourth player in Hockey East history to win both the Rookie of the Year and Player of the Year in the same season. The others are Hockey Hall of Famers Paul Correa and Brian Leach, and more recently, Jack Eichel. Again, let's not forget that Celebrini is just 17 years old. By age, he should still be a senior in high school. Over the history of the NCAA, 174 skaters appeared in NCAA games as under-18 players. Among those players, Celebrini's 59 points make him the third most productive player of his age in college hockey history. Since 2001, only 19 skaters played their U18 seasons in the NCAA. That includes Jonathan Taves who played at 17 years old for North Dakota in 0506. Among those players, Celebrini has 20 more points than his next closest age peer, Taves, who had 39 points. In the modern NCAA, Celebrini is in a category of his own. Recent freshman to win the Hobie Baker Award, 
Jack Eichel and Adam Fantilli, were late birthdates and among the oldest players in their draft years, while Celebrini is among the youngest. International Play Celebrini solidified himself as one of the top prospects for the 2024 draft with his performance at the Under-18 World Championship last spring in Switzerland. Playing through his shoulder injury, he tallied 6 goals and 9 assists for 15 points in 7 games, helping Team Canada capture bronze with his overtime-winning goal. But what really opened the eyes of many on the international stage was his performance in Gothenburg, Sweden at the 2024 World Juniors. As an underager, Macklin was Canada's best player and the tournament standout by a country mile, and again, he's only 17 years old. Perhaps his most impressive performance of the tournament came in a 10-0 victory over Latvia, in which Macklin recorded 5 points and was named player of the game. He fell 2 points shy of Canada's single-game record at the World Juniors, co-held by Connor Bedard, Dave Andrechuk, and Gabriel Bork. The college freshman assisted on Canada's first four goals before scoring one of his own and assisting on another. By the end of the tournament, Celebrini led Team Canada with four goals and four assists for eight points in five games, dominating the majority of his shifts. He wasn't afraid to find open ice and shoot the puck. Even with limited ice time, he produced at an incredibly high rate and proved that the skill and talent is there. Unfortunately, Canada didn't win a medal, finishing fourth, but it's important to keep in mind that most of their top eligible players like Connor Bedard, Adam Fantilli, Zach Benson, Kevin Korczynski, and Shane Wright were not released by their respective NHL clubs, many of whom were on the gold medal winning team the year prior. NHL Comparables So, how does this kid compare in both potential and playing style to many of today's NHL stars? One scout told TSN's Bob McKenzie that Macklin Celebrini plays a lot like none other than Sidney Crosby, saying, quote, For a player with his level of talent, he works so hard at all aspects of his game, so he's similar to Sidney Crosby in that regard. He is not Crosby, but he plays a similar, well-rounded game at a very high level. Funny enough, Crosby happens to be very familiar with Celebrini, as the two train and skate together at times in the offseason. I don't think he'll be as dynamic or powerful as Sid, but I absolutely see him as a lowercase Crosby, added another scout. Other scouts like to compare Celebrini to another three-time Stanley Cup winning center, Jonathan Taves, who isn't playing this season but hasn't officially hung up the skates. Like Celebrini, Taves went to Chatuck St. Mary's and fast-tracked to get to the University of North Dakota of the NCAA in his NHL draft year. McKenzie points out that while Celebrini's 6-foot, 190-pound frame isn't quite as big as Taves' 6-foot, 195-pound numbers in 2006, their relentless drive, attention to detail, strong 200-foot game, and flair for the dramatic in big moments are inarguably similar. McKenzie has also compared Bedard and Celebrini's consecutive drafts to the 2008 and 2009 NHL drafts where Steven Stamkos and John Tavares went first overall. At the time, many felt Tavares would project better, but Steven Stamkos has had a much better career, highlighted by two Stanley Cup wins with the Tampa Bay Lightning. While he isn't quite on the level of last year's first overall selection in Connor Bedard, many feel Celebrini is similar in potential to second overall Leo Carlson, or third overall Adam Fantilli. He'll easily be mentioned in the same breath as both of those players for years to come. While Macklin Celebrini may not be a generational talent like former first overall picks in Connor McDavid or Connor Bedard, and probably isn't on the level of Austin Matthews, don't take that as a slight on his level of talent by any means. Celebrini is definitely a step up from recent first overall picks like Nico Heischer, Alexi Lafreniere, Owen Power, or Yuri Slavkovsky. In terms of other first overall selections from the last decade, we see Celebrini projecting somewhere in the range of Jack Hughes or Rasmus Dahlin in terms of impact to the team that will select him. He looks to be an excellent all-around number one NHL center, and while he may not be a true goal scorer, the offense will definitely come too. 
Make no mistakes about it, Macklin Celebrini is a future NHL superstar and franchise-level player. But what do you think of Macklin Celebrini's game? Which team do you hope drafts him? The San Jose Sharks, Chicago Blackhawks, and Anaheim Ducks look to all but certainly have the best shot. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to click like if you enjoyed it, and make sure to subscribe for more NHL content. We'll see you in the next video.